SMRs are canceled. Oh, wait, I thought advanced reactors were like the future of nuclear. Well, advanced reactors are super important to the growth of the nuclear industry, but using the phrase SMR actually restricts that growth. What do you mean? I thought they were pretty much the same thing. Well, not exactly. SMRs are defined by the IAEA as advanced nuclear reactors that have a power capacity of up to 300 megawatt hours per unit, which is about a quarter of the capacity of a traditional reactor. But the term SMR is not really well defined and it kind of has different meanings depending on the context. Advanced nuclear refers to a wide range of newly designed and deployed nuclear technologies, which includes things like SMRs and micro reactors, but it also means say like floating nuclear plants, high temperature reactors that can provide industrial process heat, and fast reactors that can actually consume nuclear waste as fuel. But most importantly, advanced reactors don't have to be mini. They can actually be just as big as traditional light water reactors. Really? Yeah. In fact, the only advanced nuclear technology that's gone commercial so far in the US is the AP-1000 built by Westinghouse. They have advanced passive safety systems in over a thousand megawatt capacity, hence the name, and there are actually four of them running right now in Georgia. Oh, so you mean when we say SMR, we mean advanced nuclear, like anything that incorporates new design improvements and lessons learned. But in using the phrase SMR, we've actually excluded multiple classes of innovation and development. Has this trendy language ever been a real problem? Actually, yeah in Illinois. New nuclear construction had been banned since like 1987, and there was a bill to lift the moratorium in 2023, which passed in both chambers, but the governor vetoed it at the last second. Why? Well, he was worried about the term advanced reactors being too broad and maybe allowing large reactors like the AP-1000 into the mix. He only wanted SMRs, which were the new hot topic at the time. SMR was a buzzword that made its way into state government and caused them to fear these bigger reactors. But wasn't the AP-1000 the success story you just mentioned? And what about that TerraPower reactor? It's like just over 300 megawatts, so that's like the cutoff. Yeah, that excludes both of those. They had to completely rewrite the legislation and the new bill that he finally signed limits reactors to 300 megawatts. These haven't even been commercially proven yet and the technology that's already working was explicitly banned. Oh, so SMR hype can actually limit nuclear innovation instead of expand it. When we say advanced nuclear, we really should mean the full spectrum of innovations. <sighs> Exactly, because otherwise we might accidentally legislate ourselves out of the technologies that could actually help us achieve our clean energy goals. I'm not one for cancel culture, but that actually makes sense.